Good morning, folks. It's 626 a.m. Wednesday, May 4th. Six twenty six intuition understanding intuition yeah <laughs> using your intuition to understand intuition that's pretty funny, but that's kind of have to that's kind of how you have to learn intuition It's like learning how to trust yourself about something that you feel and you're taught not to trust your feelings. <laughs> everything in your life is made against who you really are. Anyway, uh, uh, today's topic is about uh, uh, this concept of supreme being. Uh, excuse the sniffles and stuff. I was going to do this last night, but I was so tired, and then Herky was really tired. He wanted to go to bed, too, so we just trashed the night, crashed out uh, early. And uh, yesterday I just didn't shave. I wake up, I get my coffee started. I, uh, while the coffee's being made, I get Herky uh, new uh, clean water bowls, put new water in there. The food I left out overnight, that gets trashed. And get him squared away, new food. Uh, not the food right away, the uh, new bowls and new water. And then I get him... Uh, some nice food uh, well Herky's diet the only thing he can eat and hold in and he's been like this for years is uh, boiled chicken breast I get him uh, well breast yeah and uh, um, it's a dog food called Simply Nourish um, from PetSmart it's not the cheapest thing in the world but it's salmon and sweet potato everything else was making him throw up so he has a little bit of uh, the chicken breast um, with his uh, glucosamine and MSM supplement. Glucosamine is great, but you have to have MSM in there if you really want to get something done. Excuse me, what do I say that? Well, I was born with degenerative joint disease. I know a little bit about joint issues. You know, I ran cross country and played every sport there was all year long. Sometimes I'd be on two and three uh, teams at the same time growing up as a kid. Anyway, uh, my sinuses were really messed up this morning when I made up my mind I was going to talk about this and. The other side was trying to keep me from it. And I told them, I'm talking about this, now stop. Uh, this is important, let them, <coughs> look at that, huh? It's like, don't say it, don't say it. They'll think less of us. No, they won't, and if they do, that, that's their problem. Okay, um, everything on the other side, they've never run a life. That's, that's you out of body, that's a source that's out of body. No one's ever run a life. When, when this body finally drops and uh, what I am comes out and then attaches itself to the rest of our, puts itself together again and becomes our, it's going to run things. Uh, and then the first thing it's going to do is fix Lily. And then Lily's going to be the one that really loves things. I've always enjoyed, um, when I had a relationship, if I could just uh, keep it going smoothly, uh, just giving her the money and let her run the house. And I'd protect and take care of things. And uh, uh, if she was about to do something that was really going to be a big issue, you know, like make us starve to death or something, then I'd say something. Other than that, I was good to go. Um, that's a natural way of things uh, on the other side, too. But see, all the big bad stuff is gone. There's not that much of it. That's really a big problem. And what we have left there, for the most part, is really cool. But... Some of the source energy over there right now is like they're trying to help. They don't know how they've never run a life. It's not their fault. Nothing was ever allowed to run even one life. Zero lives were run by anything other than the first being original male and female until their death. Until they were taken out, deleted. <coughs> I 
So now you have, there was problematic spirit all over the place running people's lives. Uh, stepping up on to play God. Uh, they're almost all dead. Um, the ones that are a problem have finally figured out, for the most part, not to be one, to just hide. Which is good, because maybe they'll change their mind when things settle down. But when Eric gets his, himself together, he's going back home. He's taking that huge hammer like Thor's hammer. goes up to this huge big cement table, hits it one time, bam, and just destroys it. The, the impact behind that symbology is destroying the old way that was rigid and firm and had no, you know, has no purpose whatsoever in this new format for creation. It's not as much a new creation as it is a new format. It's still the same people that, but the ones that aren't abusive and won't stop being abusive, they're being deleted as they're found. You stop, you say no, they keep doing it. You stop, you say no, they do it again, you hit delete. Um, so, what I was saying earlier didn't finish. It's kind of hard for people the way I jump around. I, I can't help it. It's like, like when you all get these books and I'm sending stuff out again finally. Um, that was, uh, I can't, that's the best I can sign the books, okay? Some of them, excuse me, some of them actually have two signatures in there. <clears throat> but anyway, what I was saying, like with the sniffles and everything, um, uh, I was literally being stopped up where I couldn't talk because the other side knew I was going to do this. And I told them, look, this has to be said and just stop. You know, um, some of them are concerned about being thought of as something they're not, like, you know, aggressive, uh, nasty, or, or stupid, because they're not. They just don't know how to do this. No one's ever done it. The only example they have to go by is the way it was done by the original first being male and female, abusive and wrong. Now, they make adjustments on it, but they don't really know how to do it. It's not their fault. And what's over there trying to do this right now has not had many lives, and there's a bunch of little people doing a little this, a little that over there, so it's all different kinds of stuff. And spirit guides are trying to run people, you know, the best they can. Most of them really care. But why? Because they're you and you're out of a body. Or a normal state. This is not a normal state. So, now that I've ventured a thousand miles off course, let's come back. Um and get to the topic but it's believe it or not it's all relative um why do so many people want comma look for comma sometimes even crave some kind of magnificent supreme being what do you need that for? What's its purpose? To give you a reason to wear out your pants so when you get on your knees and do it a lot then it tears up your pants and you go to the store and it keeps our economy going? No, I hope not. So what's that about? We want some. We know there's things in life we can't change. Excuse me. And we have an innate feeling, part of us, that knows things are being done to us by something that's sentient. And sometimes it's good. Sometimes it's bad. Sometimes we do a little something. We get a little, you know, good boy, good boy, good girl, whatever. All that softly leads you <clears throat> towards praising something and saying, you are better than me, you are better than me, you have more value in creation, uh, I'm not worthy to come to you and beg. That's where the religions go. You must get on your knees and put your head in the dirt. And uh, Or, you know, the Catholic Church used to be that when it was time, you were going to get on your knees on a little padded uh, thing. Sometimes it was just wood. That's control, it's abuse. But more importantly, it's what the original first being male and female craved. 
They crave the attention. They crave the praise. They crave you saying, we suck, but we praise you. Please forgive us for sucking. We love you so much. There were a lot of us in ancient Greece. There was a lot of us that came here fighting like hell, so pissed about uh, things. I mean, while we're in body, coming alive. I had a lot of lives in Greece. This body is uh, German, Greek, and some other stuff. Believe it or not, it actually has a little Indian in it, which is nice. When you would think about why something happens, your first angels, the, the angels that were put on you, the original first ones, remember, they were servants. They didn't have feelings. They didn't care. Break, break his arm? Sure. Next. Kill his daughter? No problem. Dead. Dead. What's next? Oh, just let me know. I'll do it. They didn't care. But how do you counteract anyone ever finding that out? You put it out there. They're loving law. You know, it's, kind of, it's crazy. <laughs> and yes, if you're thinking this, you're correct. Mariah Carey, I'm not. I know Mariah's uh, older now. She's so cool. She's got so much Lily in her, man. It's awesome. Uh, that's what she is inside. Source energy from Lily and just a, whoa, excuse me, just a touch of air. There's so little, it's a... Anyway. Some of your famous stars are like that. Um, that's one thing the original male and female uh, understood a long time ago, that in order to maintain the abuse, uh, the abuse of treatment of spirit when it's in a body, abuse in these bodies that they had to have some joy so the entertainment's about to keep you going that, that's a big part of it anyway so anyway uh, where's it you know so what's up um, we're led to do that okay um, we're abused then we get a little treat said that that's good do some praising um the original angels, if necessary, would go in you and run you and make you praise. Now, at the same time, there's others here uh, that never would do that. Okay, the more negative someone is, uh, the less they would go towards a religion. That's why when you go to uh, um, a church or something like that, you can usually feel some really. The majority of people there really have a lot of love in their hearts. Um, it also causes strife. Uh, by some people not being uh, having lives where they're uh, not religious whatsoever, you know, it's a way to play the people against each other, uh, make people wonder. Uh, after you've had so many lives of of servitude, you need to have a few where you're not. Otherwise, you know, you really get a, a, a aggressively. Um, you really get frustrated and you start aggressively you, you'll start aggressively going towards that religion thing if you were forced in it every life the original first being male and female they were smart very smart and they were the only ones that ever ran lives and there's trillions of planets with a, whatever over 300 million people on it that number changes for a reason if I say it, it's over 100 million and then say it's over 300 million it, it's always been over 300 million it's just sometimes just 100 comes out because it's on the top of my head and it's actually true because 300 plus is more than 100. I'm not trying to be tricky. It's, you know, my brain's just not working like that anymore. Um, it's going to talk about what's, you know, it'll, it'll be true, but my head's still getting worked on every day, all day long. Um, is trying so hard to get me squared away to leave properly. Um, I don't care. 
I don't care what other people think about me, I, except for listening to what I have to say, and them finding their own truth in the words I put out in the message. That's all that matters at this point. I've all but completely finished my work. Not the way I wanted to, but... See, you all, you all don't understand yet. You can't see the changes that already happened. You're in a body. Everyone's running around. I used to, when I was young, thinking that this is all we have. This is our only life. Wrong. That's one reason I ask people, you know, to remember that as they're waking up and they're trying to, as they're now awake and they're trying to help others wake up, to remember we all start from that, oh, jeez, rotator cuffs. Um, uh, we all start at zero and move forward. Uh, well, it's not zero, but whatever. We all move from a, um, barely awake to a, a much stronger... From time to time, people have been made to do some, you know, help to do some incredible things. Uh, it wasn't them. It was their angels. Um, and then a lot of people were, so many people were told they are going to be telekinetic, you know. I'm one of them. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> and then the more I woke up became myself, the more I realized how important it was that I never was like that. This can't be about any person because it's about every person. And when I say person, I mean people. And when I say people, I mean animals, plants, uh, human beings, trees, everything. Water. So, now that we've taken a 2,000 mile trek off topic, let's come back again. So what's with this supreme being kick now? If the original male and female are gone, the original first angels are gone. Uh, you know, there's a few stragglers hanging around, but they're gone. Um, there's next to nothing over there that's going to push that. This morning, the energy on the other side, because I'm in a body, and because when we're in a body, we're so stressed out, they literally were wondering... Is he going to come back and be mad at us because we let him totally destroy the way of uh, the God thing? Hell no. It's like they're not listening. Um, they're thinking something in the body is just going to go nuts, and it's not like that. They don't see. They, they, they're clueless. They don't understand. They're not stupid. Oh, no, 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 no. They're not stupid. It's just that they don't know what's going to happen. They know what's going to happen. Aaron Lilly going to take over. That's known everywhere. Yeah, it has been known ever since the, as soon as the original male and female got killed, and then the other two large parts of source energy, of the other two uh, pairs were were destroyed. It was pretty obvious what was going to happen over there. And then the original first angels got taken out. There was no question about what was going to happen um, when Aaron Lilly take you know that Aaron Lilly would take over. So, <laughs> um, sound insane? I hope so, because it is. But necessary and very important to everything? Yes. Creation was made wrong. So why are we praising this wonderful supreme being that we can't see, can't talk to, can't find? We're just told that he exists without a her. Uh, gee, male-dominated world used to be, or whatever. That was always, you know, how it's been through most of the ages. Uh, at least that was the basic thought process. Not really happening, as we know. Um, but, uh, so there had to be a father god. Not a mother god. Um, and it was really the female part of the first being anyway. So there, there's no evil. There's negativity, but only a little bit of it, uh, only a certain amount of it that would come out and give us a hard time. So all the bad stuff happening was done to you by your God, um, and you're praising it to make it happy. 
because she didn't know better. That's what's been going on. And I used to, too. I keep telling everybody I'm no better than nothing else. And I don't just mean it, I prove it. You know, damn. We're all family, folks. So what are we doing? At this point, we have to become awake, aware of what's been happening, and get off this silly praise thing. You tell something that something's better than you, they'll eventually they're going to start thinking it. You know? Um, there's nothing any better than you, and you're not better than anything else. And it goes devil for me. We're family people. Please, you know, open up your hearts to thank those that help you. Animals, people, family. Um, but you might want to consider actually praising something. Uh, it's wrong, it's dangerous. Uh, Why well, say it's wrong? Because nothing is better than you. We all have equal value in creation because we exist. That's where you start with equality. When you're made to protect something, that's where you start. Protect all this. I said, okay, all this is equal. I love it all. Protect. I'm not just going to protect this thing or that thing. I'm protecting everything. So to start with as a basis, everything's equal. And then you work from there. When something starts attacking other stuff and won't stop, it loses its equality in a way. It still has equal rights, but because it's abusing, it doesn't get equal protection. And then it gets deleted, eventually. So, everything was always done about the original male and female. God. Everybody praise Almighty God, like poor Sylvia was made to do. Praise Mother Father God. Had her own name for her, Asna. That's cool. <sighs> so, uh, I'm not going to spend much more time on this. I need to do a shorter video. Um, but why praise anything else? Especially if something's so cool that it is worth praising and some kind of supreme being how supreme is it when it's not taken care of you if it's that supreme and that powerful why do you still have war why do you have disease why do you have childbirth defects why 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 does your son go to war and come back in a box he, he was healthy and bench pressing 300 pounds before he left and then he comes back a cold piece of meat yeah praise god right praise god oh yeah Oh, yeah. For what? Folks, that's what was abusing you the whole time. When you come into a physical body as who you really are, spirit, sentient energy, you come to develop your energy. Because when you're in the body, learning stuff and going through stuff, feeling, you're learning. But all that extra abuse, it, although it makes you bigger, it gives you a lot of problems. And that's all being stopped. Um, a whole lot less abuse means a whole lot less uh, abusive frequencies building up inside you it, it'll be a whole lot easier on you okay um, that's the way it needs to be and then the physical bodies will disappear but the praise thing if something was worth your praise it, it, it not only wouldn't want it it wouldn't allow it hot coffee um, it would do whatever's necessary to uh, at least slowly break you away from that because when you care about something you care about it um, how many of like I've said before how many of your parents made you bow before you came into the house and then bow again in front of them I hope not there's got to be a couple out there, but 
I feel for you if you're the ones. And I, I didn't even look. I just, I'm trying not to. I have so much stuff talking to me right now. I'm, I'm trying to keep my head somewhat closed off. And I still get worked on so much. I woke up this morning and I had like little divots in here. And I said, what the heck? And then I said, well, great. Here goes the uh, scanner. It's popped all out. And then the forehead right here is popping out again. And it's just like uh, my pineal's stronger again. So I'm talking with stuff everywhere, trying not to. My own energy inside will open it up and make it more sensitive so I get all this stuff going. But it's like knocking on all these doors at one time is kind of a pain. And that's part of the issue, too. Uh, it's important, apparently, that I can talk to seven uh, different people at one time as far as telepathy goes. And I've done three and four, but seven, is that's hard. I need to redo that Anunnaki uh, video, too. Um, that's something that needs to be here for your reference later. You know, please remember this information is actually what's out there. Uh, you'll learn more about that soon. When our friends in space come in, you're going to find out more about, you know, the validity of what I said. Not that it needs to be validified. <laughs> Not that it needs to be uh, proven correct. But uh, um, that you need, that it's just understanding there's a reason for, for those people that aren't awake there's more of a reason for them to consider some of the other things I've told you all like the two books those books tell you what's there what's going on how it started that second book was really hard to write there's, I've been fighting everything over there until just recently, it's just been me. And then uh, Paul and Berju uh, are really strong, but I'm thinking that's... Well, Paul can kill stuff. He's strong, so I'll get out. Um, uh, he He's more solitude, not as uh, uh, outward talking as I am, uh, but really strong, and he's just who, who needs to be here for the next phase of uh, this awakening thing. I had to come down here and tear stuff up on the other side and write these books and tell you the basic gist and those people that are um, needing to get cranked up and stronger so that they can take care of it, then that's going on. You all are the ones that have become popular and stuff, helping to spread the stuff. Um, it's easier to deal with when you have a hundred people doing something what others might call, those that aren't awake might call incredible than one person. One person does it, you want to make it about the person. Wrong. A hundred, it's like, okay, there's, there's something happening here. There's something in the air. Yeah, there is. That's the whole idea. You all become who you really are, using your abilities to see everything that's really out there. Anyway, um, you all do what you want, but uh, as long as you're not hurting something, that, you know, you have that right, don't you? Um, and hopefully not hurting yourself. But those of you that are awake are going to start wondering a little more about this prayer thing. There's not a damn thing wrong with saying thanks. But when you go from thank you to praising something, you've just crossed a line that is detrimental to yourself and everything else. Um, don't feed aggressive, abusive, arrogant, Well, uh, if you do 
you know, like to pray something, a lot of you that do won't take the time to do it, but if you take a moment and just look at it, like, huh, why do I do that? Then you'll start coming up with your own answers. But most people who, you know, are praying, praising something, um, when you when you pray like for asking for help, it's just asking for help. But when you say, "Please help me," oh, oh, great, almighty God, then that goes into the praise department. Like I said, you'll do what you want, but I'm just telling you what's going on, how it all started, where it came from, what kept it going, and the fact that it doesn't exist anymore. So. I've laid out the ingredients for you to bake a nice cake. Do whatever you want with them. Uh, just please don't throw the eggs at me. <laughs> Sorry, folks. I'm serious as hell, but sometimes I have to act like a a flower child, a blooming idiot, just to kind of take the edge off things that really bother me. The more you become yourselves as you awaken, the more you understand the depth of how you really feel about things. I mean, it really does take over who you are. But is it really taking over? No, it's you simply releasing everything else. And then what you have left is who you really are. Y'all are incredible, man. I've I've said it so much that people listen to me a lot and sometimes they're probably tired of hearing it. It's important. How can you come here in a body and expect people to understand who they really are and tell them when they can't just open up a book and it's got a, a special magic mirror where they can actually see all that immediately, physically? How do you expect them to handle this? You don't. You keep going, doing what you know is right, doing what you know they need to have, you know, supplying what they need to have, and knowing that when it's time, the proper people are going to keep coming in and keeps building until it happens everywhere. That's what you do. But it has to be someone who really doesn't care what people say about him or her. I'm a him, though. I'm happy this life. It's hard for me to be having a life in a female body. Well, folks, love y'all. Y'all rock. Um, it's like I always you know say too I'm, I'm not telling you what to do I don't do that if someone's hurting a person animal baby I'm over there physically I'll find a way to walk get over there and get in someone's face I don't care I'm a man of means and I mean to do what I know is right um, in a way I'm lucky because I can't be any more awake until I'm out of the body. At the same time, we're really fully awake, but I'm aware of what I am. And I'm not afraid of dying. It's nothing. These bodies are such a temporary thing, y'all don't know. Once you can actually understand that in your own way, to have your own truth, life changes. We still deal with the physical. We still love all those that are in body. And it is a very important thing, but when you take away the fear of death, you can finally live. If that's not a simple saying, I'm not a tired old man in overalls. Folks, I love you, man. Have a good one. Take care.